Louisiana Beer Reviews Jinka Kogan Beer 5% Alcohol imported from Japan. This company was started in 1996. Jinka Kogan means Plateau of the Galaxy. Now they make a few different beers according to their website. There's a few different ones and there's an extensive explanation and the translations aren't that good but about their brewing process. Uh, they use no, no corn or rice adjunct. This uses malted barley, wheat malt, water, hops, and yeast. Um, Ken from Massachusetts sent me another beer. Thank you, Ken. He keeps sending me beers. I don't know what to say about that except thank you. He also sent me this glass. I don't know if I'm going to use this glass though for beer reviews because it's, you know, a colored glass, kind of brown, and I, it might obscure the color of the beer. Is what I'm concerned about. Otherwise, it's really nice. Um, you can hear that electric heater running. It's cold outside, about 38 right now. It's sunny, though, mostly sunny. Um, Sapporo, American-made Japanese recipe. Okay, we get a lot of American-made Japanese beers now. Uh, Kirin Ichiban. I thought I had a bottle also. Couldn't find it. I guess I just kept the can. Uh, Kirin Ichiban. Here's a big can I bought in St. Petersburg, Florida. 100% malt. That means 100% barley malt, no hop, no uh, <coughs> corn or rice adjunct. It does use hops. I was watching uh, Jason Velikas from Philadelphia, and he was he thought 100% malt meant they didn't use hops. That does confuse people, but they just mean it's all barley malt, no corn or rice. Uh, this. Karen Ichiban is made by Anheuser-Busch, contract brewed by Anheuser-Busch at their Los Angeles, California brewery. And you can get the 12 ounce bottles in these uh, 24 ounce cans some places. We get the bottles here, I haven't seen the cans. Alright, Karen is an old Japanese company. Let's check out this Jinka Kogan, which is not even 20 years old. Not coming up. Okay. Wasn't coming off too easily. Most of the beers in Japan uh, are your rice lagers. This is an unfiltered wheat thing. I, and there's a few video reviews. I was looking at beer ex expeditions from about six years ago. He was doing a video. Um, there's two others. I haven't watched those. The video, uh, the beer written reviews, very good on Beer Advocate. There's only like 97 written reviews. 82 out of 100 on Rape Beer. 98 out of 100 for the styles. So that's telling you they're not thrilled with the style. And it was only like 31 reviews for them. So, oh, in an earlier video I said I got this from True Value. No, sorry, it's from Ace. Ace Hardware had this promotion with Craftsman Tools. You know, that's Sears Craftsman. Craftsman. But it could have also been done at True Value, but we have Ace Hardware here. <laughs> the True Value store didn't make it. <clears throat> My uncle has a True Value store in Baton Rouge. Okay, very milky, kind of lemon yellow, creamy head. All right. Mmm. Now that aroma. <clears throat> It's very, now they said on their website they tried to follow the German uh, brewing methods, Bavarian methods, it says it very clearly. It's banana, the coriander, the wheat, the sweetness, um, some smokiness, sometimes with wheat beers you'll get a, an odd smokiness. Um, some people say bubblegum. Maybe that is the case here. I'm not sure. But, yeah, I guess so. Maybe some white pepper. Now the flavor is... Um, not that different from a German Hefeweizen. My complaint with Hefeweizens is you often pick up this tap water thing, and I'm getting this here too. <clears throat> All right. And you 
might have seen my video with a Michelob light, an old glass, also with a blue colored glass. It was a Michelob light glass. The mouthfeel is thick, almost like viscous. The finish is on the dry side. Um, there's a lot of carbonation here. It's very, I mean, you can't see through it. It's like milky, like juice. Looks like uh, pineapple juice. It's one of the better half of license I've ever had. I'm going to give it an A minus. I think I'm going to give it an A minus for beer overall, but for the style, I'm going to go with a solid A, 5% alcohol. It's really um, nothing. There really isn't any fault with it, okay? So I can't really. If I was to give it an A minus, I'd be. Be, I would be unfair. It, I would be unfair. So, um, anyway, thank you for <laughs> thank you for watching this video production and les et les bon temps roulé, a great beer. Thank you, Ken. And y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Wow, this is. I think this beer is going to improve as I drink it down. <laughs>